guys, what is up? Cryptograms here. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the Idle Game Tutorial Series. This is episode 14. I am very sorry I've been publishing again. I got really busy, and now that's Corona time. Uh, I got more time to record some videos. I'm just very busy with my own game right now. So, I'm very sorry about that. You probably saw some of my live streams. I've been doing lots of development lately and playing some games because I've, I've never really got to do that in my own free time before this whole mess. Anyways, hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe during this strange, strange event. Alright, um, so today is a little different. Someone commented below earlier that I should do ads. Like, well, I mean, he suggested it, so why not do it now before I forget it? Because I was planning to do this at some point, but I just feel like I'm going to forget to do it. So I might as well just get that out of the way, okay? So before we get started, we are going to use AdMob, my Google. It is better than Unity Ads. Unity Ads suck ass. They're not very good. They have a really, they don't, I don't really like their, their CPM. It's very low compared to AdMob. And they're a lot easier to manage. It's a little harder to set up though, but it's easier to manage in the long run. So we're going to stick to that. Okay, so first of all, we are going to need to make an AdMob account. Okay, so here's mine right here. Uh, I'm not going to show any of my stuff because that's personal information. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you'll see a blank screen once you make an account. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to apps right here, and you're going to want to do add app. And remember, this is when you have either, this is when you're actually ready to set this up. So remember, it's best to wait when you're starting to test the game. Okay. So have you published your game on the Google Play or App Store? Let's, so in our situation, we haven't yet. So we're gonna put no. So then we're gonna fill in our information. So this is gonna be our idle game tutorial series. All right, we're just gonna put Android. We're not gonna actually upload this, but I'm just gonna kinda show you what you need to do. So we're gonna put this here. We're gonna click add. It's because it, once we're done, we will have to uh, set this up later on. So you're gonna see an ad ID or your app ID, app ID. Okay, this this will stay with you once you uh, upload the game. I think it won't change. I think it will always stay the same. But just yeah, make sure you have the name, the same name as when you publish the game. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do. Uh, we need to create some ad units. Okay. So we're gonna create one. We're gonna do create ad unit. And I'm only showing you how to do rewarded ads because I've never done banner or interstitial, which is where it's just a pop-up ad. I've never, never done a native advance. I have no idea what it does, so don't ask me to do tutorials on these other three because I've never used them before. So we're just going to do rewarded ads since they're the, probably the best option you can get. So create a name, whatever you want. I'm just going to do add one. Um, you can just do whatever you want here for the reward settings. I never do this myself because I can manually control my own rewards. That's how I do it for crypto clickers is I never mess with this. I actually do the reward stuff inside the code. So advanced settings. Now, so you have ad type. Mm, just leave this. This is all good. Frequency capping. You don't want to do that or else you'll be limited on your ad watching. Hey, ECPM floor. So now what I do, I'm not going to know what I do I have a CPM floor I usually set it for 10 but it's not really the best method of doing it so I would just set it to around 5 ish or just experiment with it or just have no e ECPM floors as well basically if you don't have a floor you'll get ads pretty much instantly because there's tons of ads out there ready to be fish but if you have like 10 or 50 ads are gonna come in really slowly like if you put 200 you'll probably never get an ad because no one's gonna put an ad where where he spends twenty dollars and only ten people are gonna watch it. Like, no one's gonna do that. So that's why we have this is disabled. So we're gonna create ad unit. So we have our app ID here and we have our ad unit ID. Okay. Two different things. How you can tell the difference is the squiggly line here and the slash. The slash is for the ad unit. Okay. So what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna create an ad manager. Actually, before we do that, let me load up my game real quick. Uh, so, 
This is the drone tiers that I'm working on. I need to grab. Okay. So let me find this real quick. You're gonna go to this one with all the lowercase. So go here. We're gonna download. Download zip. And we're gonna do this all over again. So that sucks because we have a whole pa dang package on Unity. So, scripts, ad manager. Okay. Um, okay. So we have our zip file here. You should get another folder right here. Okay. So what we do is just drag this folder into our project. Okay, so I guess we gotta open up the assets folder in Explorer first. Okay, so just drag this in here in your assets. Make sure it's in your assets, not in your, in your main folder or else it's not gonna be there. I don't remember this being so, so complicated. And hopefully, hopefully it'll work. So pay close attention. There's gonna be a few things we're gonna need to do um, setup wise. You cannot miss a step. Do not skip to the very end of this video. This is one of these videos where you cannot skip to the very end. People tend to do that in my videos and then they run into issues. And you, you cannot skip parts of videos and expect not to miss one thing because I, I'm pretty straightforward. Well, like when I type in code, sure, you skip that, but you most likely gonna miss something important if you do that. Okay. All right. This does not look very familiar, but we'll use it. Okay. Oh boy, I'm already stuck on this. Okay, good. Stop. Okay, we're gonna be using Google, there we go, dot API. That's more like it. All right, so now we're gonna type public rewarded ad. Okay, so name this rewarded ad for now. It should be good. Um, all right, we are going to create a public void start method. And in here, we're going to do uh, we're going to create in we're going to create a different if statement. So this is um, so I chose Android, right? So we're just going to do if Unity Android because this is a this is specifically this add unit ID is specifically for Android. Okay, we're going to create a string called app ID equals our Oh, yeah, app ID, correct. So make sure it's not the dash, it's the squiggly line one, okay? So make sure it's this top one right here, okay? So copy your app ID and put it right here, okay? And then we can do the same for if, L, if, Unity, iPhone, string, app ID. Again, pay close attention because you're probably not listening right now, but we don't, we're, this is, this is specifically not for iOS. So we don't have an I.O. An, or an iPhone one. So we're just going to do unexpected platform. So we will not get any ads for iOS because we did simply set it up for them. Right. And then we're going to do else unexpected platform. So if it's like a computer or something like that, and then hashtag and if, and that's it. All right. Next up, we are going to call mobile ads dot initialize. We need to initialize our app ID. So we will just paste app ID in here. And what I tend to do, this is good for um, loading ads in the background, but we are going to set iOS pause app in the background. 
set iOS app pause on background false. It's because it will keep using our Wi-Fi, right? And plus, where there's no reason to check for ads. In, uh, no, no, pause on background. Yeah, sorry. I got confused there. Yeah, to set it to false. That's what I did. You don't have to. This won't affect anything with Android. So you know what? Actually, just ignore this. My bad. Um, all right. So this is it for the start. Um, let's see. Okay. Next, what we're going to do... We are going to type rewarded dot rewarded ad on ad failed to load. And we're going to create some methods here later on. And then we're going to type handle handle ad failed to load. It has to specifically be this name in order for this Google Mo mobile ads API to recognize it, okay? Uh, it's, it should look like this. Handle reward ad failed to load. Okay? And we're going to do this for the rest of the stuff that we're going to need. On ad failed to show. I'm going to copy and paste this. Replace it with a show. Rewarded ad. On user earned reward. This is how you grant the reward. And we're going to do handle user earned reward and these are going to be methods that we're using eventually okay and then we're going to actually create this request at first so we can start loading ads right away okay so add request request is equal to new ad request we are creating a new ad request object okay ad request is the object builder dot build so if you want to test Check out their API. Just search up Google AdMob Unity API, and you'll find some stuff. Now I can show you how to test ads without getting punished for it. Because if you watch ads on your own address, on your like not address, your own device, it will s somehow Google figures out. Somehow they figure it out, and they will punish you for that by taking away some of your earnings. Okay. And that can get you in trouble and eventually lead you to termination. So do not farm ads. You can't, it just doesn't work that way. If you're not listening, listen up. Do not farm your own ads. You will get terminated. <laughs> All right. It doesn't work. You're not going to get a cent out of it. They're going to find out and they're not going to give you anything. And they could ban you too. All right. So then we're going to return. Oh, yeah, we're good. Um, that's it for our start. Uh, we have some red. We'll get there. Okay. So, I'm going to import a method that I have for this, okay? We're going to modify it. We're going to start with the add failed to load. Alright. So, here it is. So, we're going to mess around with this. We're going to create an int real quick. Public int times failed. And this will be used to kind of just calm down the request because if you because it just it lags your device if you're searching every like if you do it public void update and you do this constantly your game is unplayable. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna create a little. This is our little like delay system here. Okay, so here we are going to. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new method called create and load rewarded add. All right. So I'm going to move this stuff down here. All right. All right. And then down here, I'm going to type rewarded. Sorry if you're not following along. Just make sure you're listening to me. And understand the punishments for not doing this correctly and for farming ads. And just at least make sure you understand that. So we are going to do equals reward ad equals new rewarded ad. And we're gonna put our app we're gonna put our um our ad unit ID in here, okay? Just put that in here. 
and you're good to go. So in here, we're going to do something called invoke, which basically it, it calls a method in 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 2 minutes, and so on, okay? Yeah, so two minutes, four minutes, and you can just add it however you want, okay? So instead of this right here, we are going to replace it with that, okay? This will call this method add a delay, okay? Instead of creating an I enumerator and creating a delay that way, it's better to do it invoke because it's just an easier one line thing, all right? Uh, next, fail to show. So this one's just pretty self-explanatory because it's not a big deal if it fails to show. That's most likely you lost internet. Okay, so we're going to do public void hand rewarded add fail to show. Okay, and in here we need to put object sender. Even though we never use these, we still need to have these included in order to be detected from the API. That's just how it is. Okay, that's because when we call these, it's going to automatically have it send, it's going to have these two. So if they don't exist, we're going to get a bunch of errors, okay? So make sure you do have these, even though you're not using them, okay? Because that's how we call these methods on the back end from their API. All right, and here, we're simply just going to do create and load a new ad. And that is it, all right? And now we need to get to the reward part of it. So create a new method, public void, handle user or er, earned reward. And here we're gonna put object sender and reward args. Okay. So we're gonna hop back to here real quick. So we're gonna click done. And see you have your ad units right here, right? So I'm gonna click on here real quick, and we're gonna edit it. So we're gonna edit the reward settings. So we're just gonna do rewards from this because this is where our reward comes from, okay? So what we will do here, we're gonna edit this reward amount. We're gonna say, we can't test these on videos, okay? We can't test these. But let's just say 100, uh, what did we do here? Coins. Coins. Alright. We're going to save it. So our reward for this ad is 100 coins, for example. And if you want to do like a two times boost for an hour, then I'd suggest you to watch my, I think it's the third episode of the Clicker Heroes. Because I kind of showed how to do something like that, where you just get like five minutes worth of coins, you know. It would just be that same thing. Like where you could put a hundred coins in here and you can check if reward, if, or you really don't need like this if you're going to do that. Because what you can do here is just apply the boost in here, you know, like this is useless, okay? But in here, what we're going to do is we are going to, okay, so we're going to get our public idle tutorial game. We're going to put game in here at the very top. And in here, we're going to put game.data because we are referring to here coins plus equal args. That's our reward, and that's it, okay? Um, okay, so what we need to do now is that we need to convert this to big double. Okay, so how this works is that we have this 100 coins here, right? So here, args has two variables inside it. It has dot .type and it has dot amount. Type is right here, the enter reward item. So our type is coins and our amount is the 100. So we're gonna do args dot 100, or dot amount. And this will convert to our big double here and it will work, okay? So then once we're done here, we're gonna create a new ad, all right? So we just copy and paste this method here. We are good to go. Now, you, now you, again, you can just do whatever you want here. This is basically your reward in here. 
is create the ad again, okay? So basically we are creating an ad whenever it fails to load, whenever we can't find one technically, when it doesn't play correctly. So when we lose internet is my base was like, like the, ba the biggest known reason in my opinion. And when we uh, earn reward. Now there's tons more. So if we go to this sample script here, we have handle rewarded ad close. So if we get out of the ad, we can display a pop-up that you won. You can do that. But make sure when you add these, you gotta do it here, okay? Uh, yeah, that should be it, honestly, for this part. Oh, right, <laughs> the most important part. We gotta actually show the ad, okay. So, we're gonna add an update. Public void update. So now, again, we can't test this ourselves. We just gotta trust that this works, okay? And if it doesn't, you guys can literally scream at me and be like, ah, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. All right, <laughs> and then I'll make a follow-up video on how to fix it. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna add a button, a public button, frick. Add button, uh, watch add. Oh, right, we gotta add using Unity Engine dot UI. Also, during this, during this in the middle of the video, just in case you guys, some some of you guys are not like listening, I'm not gonna show this code at the very end, specifically because I want you to watch this whole thing. And if you're still skipping it, please go back to the very beginning and watch the whole thing. Okay, I really don't like when people skip my videos because they. Ask for what's wrong, what's wrong, why is this not working? It's like, well, you skipped my video. I explained it clearly how to do it at this time. I know that can be long and tedious, but if you want to learn, you got to watch it. You got to do the work and put in the time. Anyways, back on track. <sighs> Sorry, that's a lot. <sighs> okay, so anyways, we're going to make an if statement called uh, rewarded add. Shoot. Rewarded add dot is loaded equals true but we can make this shorter and just keep it as that so if it's true oh right this is a method so if it's true this button will be enabled dot game object dot game objects dot set active God, I cannot type true okay otherwise it's false. Easy as that. It's easy, right? <laughs> okay. Next, we're going to create another method at the very bottom here. Public void watch add. Okay. So we want to check again if the add is loaded. And just in case if some glitch happens. So if rewarded add. is loaded, okay, we're gonna do rewarded add dot load add. And actually, why is this not working? Oh, right, duh, okay. We're gonna put in here uh, rewarded Rewarded add dot request. Oh, why is that not working? Okay, I see why. <laughs> it's not show. Duh. And we are going to turn off that button. So that watch add dot game object dot set active false. Is that correct? Yep. So now what you can do here is that we can add our rewarded. So we're gonna add that real quick. Public game object dot um, reward pop up. 
And on start, before we forget, we're gonna make sure this is off. That game object. Dot game object dot set active false. Okay. And we are gonna make this true. And we're gonna make one last method. Public void close add ward. Okay. And this is simply just to make this false. All right. So here's our entire script. So make sure you paid good attention. Make sure you check your capitalization. A lot of people have been having issues with that lately. I'm just like, mm, pay attention. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Should be good to go. So we can't test this. We just gotta trust that it works. All right, so in here, we're gonna create a game object called add manager. Move that to the top. We're gonna add our add manager script. Move, drag our game manager to here. And now we need to make our buttons. So we're gonna put it in the header. And I'd highly suggest you to use small buttons that show up like right here. Okay, not big pop-ups because people hate those and people will hate you for life if you do that. So we're just going to put uh, I guess we can use one of these and a dark background. So I'd suggest a better place for this but I'm just going to put it here for now. Watch add and we're gonna put a button here. Uh, create new on click, drag add, uh, no, drag your ad manager here, not your game manager, your ad manager. Click no function, ad manager, and watch ad, okay? We're gonna put a text in here too. Now, I'd, I'd, I'd suggest you have a better, you know, looking text than this, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. Watch ad. <laughs> so, yeah, do whatever you want there. Be unique, be creative. And then our ad manager, we have our button. Okay, also one more thing. If you want to hide this for people who aren't playing on mobile, so on the phone, or like on a computer, <laughs> computer, and um, sorry, I forgot to say this earlier. This is only for mobile, okay? Uh, we could put this in here. If Android and Unity iPhone or you can have it Android only. So we're just actually, so this is for mobile, so I'm just gonna keep the iPhone in here, even though we're technically not doing iPhone right now. Else, we are just gonna completely have the button disabled, and if, okay? So basically, if it's Android, my apologies, if it's Android or iPhone, Okay, so make sure you have the double bars. It will run this. Otherwise, the button is completely disabled for any other oper operating system. If you're doing Android only, then just do if Unity Android, and then we're good to go. Okay, save that. And now we need to have a little reward screen. Come on, Unity, you can import a little faster than that. I create an empty, reward add, name whatever you want. We're gonna image, nope, 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 nope. Image, we're gonna create an image just to give it some decoration. Let's do this one. And let's have a light green to it. Of course, make it look more pretty than mine, but this will do.
like usually in the middle of the screen is okay. This is fine. Okay, so here we are going to do text. You turn. Thanks for watching the ad. You get 100 coins. Simple as that. And we're going to add a text to that. Make it a little bigger. And then we're going to have a button. Close. And then we're going to uh, do the same thing. Drag Game Manager to the button. And do close. Close, close, close. Where are you? Close. Am I, am I stupid? Oh, I did Game Manager. Ad Manager. And then close Ad Reward. And that will work. So anyways, I can't test this because none of this will show up because we are on computer. And I really don't want to build this entirely because I have to create a ton of stuff in order to get it working for Android. So I really don't want to do that. Anyways, I hope that was helpful. If you want to test this, then I would watch. I would suggest you to watch another tutorial on how to build this for Android. Because I, I have at least like 10 videos to make for the series. And I'm very, very behind. So that's my last priority. So I need to do those 10 first, and then we'll get there, okay? Uh, anyways, I hope that was helpful. Make sure you close that. Save your project, and hopefully that works. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. Add me on Discord. Join my Discord. I will provide my link. Um, I'm trying to get my server verified so I can easily say, join discord.gg slash cryptograms. Now, to make things easier. But... That's not happening right now. Anyways, I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you watched all of it and did not skip any parts of the video. Because I highly suggest you to watch the entire thing. And the whole entire series too. <laughs> anyways, uh, anyways, have fun with this. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Peace.